All right, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakudash, Tawari Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to do another video of Third Spirit, Tawari Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, giving us this truth as worms, the bonus to our apostle letters, that great millstone, and salutations and blessings to the whole elect. It's just going to be a real quick video off of Jacob's trouble. It's not going to be fun for anyone, man, even for the elect, because I was, at, I was in work. And I've, man, lunchroom conversations as a job can do two things. Either piss you off real quick or you irritate you. It's, it's going to do one or two things. But uh, out of nowhere, someone s said something about the this V. He said, do you think uh, P that they're going to be able to force us to take the V? One dude said no. Somebody else didn't say anything. And I was sitting in the corner. I wasn't really talking. And I was like, yeah, they are. Because I said if they can they they can force you to stay in the house, they can force you to take take a V. And then he's uh, then uh, uh, then uh, the chip came up because hey man that chip is the RFID chip and so he said and that's how you know Jake is gonna take this this chip man as the mark of the beast. I said uh, he said uh, said eventually they're gonna need to do, uh, chip you. To, to do your little fun things or go to concerts or whatever. And he said, I said, I said, you better not take that. And he said, man, I'm a, I'm a have to have to take him out and enjoy life. Roughly paraphrase what he said. And that's what Jake's mindset is going to be, man. They want to still enjoy the pleasures of this world, man. They want to still have fun in America. They want to still uh, uh, party it up in America while we're at the end end of this kingdom. And that's why a lot of Jakes are gonna get caught up in this in this V and this C, which is the RFID to market the beast when it happens, man, because they want to party in America. This is a uh, Hebrews thirteen and verse fourteen. For for here we have no con continuous city, but we seek one. We seek one to come. So that's where your mind should be, man. Seeking one to come, seeking the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemiah Al Shai, and not seeking to live it up in America. Because the majority of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans is going to take this C, this V, because they want to enjoy their funds, man. They want to go to Lupoy Fiasco concerts. They want to go to the soccer games again. They want to go to the basketball events. Why? Because just so they can enjoy a little moment, man. What did Moses say? What did Hebrews say? I'm actually going to grab that. Hebrews 11 and verse. Hebrews 11. Let me grab it real quick. Hebrews 11 and 23. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they they saw he was a was a proper child and they they were were not afraid of the king's commandments commandment by faith Moses when he was come to years being of age refused to be called the the son of Pharaoh's daughter because Moses knew he was an Israelite he knew he who he was choosing rather to suffer Affliction with the people, uh, contrary to the to the movies, rather uh, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of of Yahweh, which is which is which is which was his people, than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. So just a little short season, man. People are gonna get hey because things after all all chaos and. Uh, a lot of people die, hey, they, and they bring this C, and different things happen. However, it goes, things are going to start to look like it's going to get back to normal. In certain pockets of the area, things it's going to be looking like it's all good, but it's really not. Because just because you can enjoy that little season, because you have the V or the C, however they play it, it's not going to matter, man. You're going to be destroyed. By the being who created everything just so you can have a little fucking fun in America, man. So you can fuck some busted 
broke, nasty, slut bitch or, or, or have some dead-end job that you can go to and you so happy you can go to it because you got the C. Pointless, man. Meaningless, man. You people have a a a, a weak mental, a weak mind, man. You're gonna forsake Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai for some bullshit, man. Some straight bullshit, straight up. This is Jonah two, and this is one of my favorites. Brother Jeremiah put me up on this. This is Jonah two through the Spirit. Jonah two in verse eight. They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercies. And Jake is going to forsake their own mercies, man. They're going to forsake the salvation of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai because of some fun, man. Because YOLO, you only live once. Oh, I don't care. I'm as like, oh, oh, I can't go. I can't go to the barbershop if I ain't got this C or V. I can't go. I can't go see Shakisha if I ain't got this C or V. She said, I can't hit unless I got the V. That's what it's going, man. Pete, I'm serious, man. Chicks gonna be out here. Well, you can't smash unless you got the V. And you know what, niggas gonna you. Well, let me go get this V, get this V, so I can so I can smash this chick that been with a hundred and twenty dudes. It's retarded, man. Huh? This is this this. We're at the end of the society. And our people, people's mindset is 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 fucked. And I know it's uh, spirit taking it somewhere else because I had on my mind about because that same Jake was talking about, well, man, it's going to be fun when the end of the world ends. It, it ain't, man. This shit ain't about to be fun, man. I said, I told I said, you ever seen a dead body? I said, I said, he said, yeah. I said, have you seen? I was like, all right, you got me there. And I was like, OK. But I said, have you seen a whole bunch of dead bodies before just lying on top of each other? And I don't even think he replied to that. This this shit is not about to be no fun time, huh? You know what the hell you people? Th- oh, you got a gun, you got your garden, you got whatever. You think you gonna just chill and kick it? No, man, this shit is about to be grimy, man. It's about to be brutal judgment on this planet, man. Our people are fucking joking, man. Thinking the end of this society is a goddamn game. This is an end of a kingdom. And this man is not trying to go out without swinging. He going to pull out all the stops. And the Lord gonna get, the Lord got his own little uh, twos and fews be, before, he, before he comes in his complete return. So this ain't going to be no fucking j- joke, man. This is at Acts 14 and verse 22. Confirming the souls of disciples. And exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must through through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. So and the scripture says, if the righteous scarcely shall be saved, where shall what what, what uh, basically what will be the end of the ungodly? You people that don't have the spirit, whoo, you in a horrible case, man. You in a bad boat, man. You in a uh, sh- Shinking ship that's on fire. It ain't no raft, ain't no lights, ain't no wood, can't nothing save you, man. You gonna burn, and you gonna get caught in that fire, and you gonna drown. You gonna drown in fire. These are the t- days and times that we're entering, man. It's not about to be no game. It's not about to be no fun time. It's not about to be happy go lucky, man. The scriptures say. In the hour, in the time of sorrow, there is forgetfulness of prosperity, man. And in prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of sorrow. You people have been prosperous too long and you forgot about sorrow. But sorrow is about to kick kick you in the face. And you're not going to be able to run from it. You're not going to be able to escape. And sorrow is going to be hot, hot on your ass. Especially the people that don't have you. How about Shimei Al Shai, man? The elect. It's going to be seeking the Lord, man, for mercy, man. But this is just something real quick, man. This is not a game, man. We don't go out and preach and say things just for fun, man. This is fear. Some of the elder, the elder, I was just watching a video with the elder. He said, the main thing is to repent, man, before the Lord destroy this place. You want to repent so the Lord can save you from this destruction. Because this destruction is going to be the worst destruction 
known to mankind to date. It's going to be worse than the flood. It's going to be worse than 70 AD. It's going to be worse than slavery. It's going to be worse than Egypt. This is this is going to be worse than the destruction of Egypt, man. Imagine that. The destruction of Egypt was horrible. So it's going to be worse than that. So be prepared, man. You Jake think this is a game, man. This ain't no game, man. This ain't no laughing, man. This ain't no joke. How is it? How can you joke and laugh about millions of people of dying, man? Billions. It's not no game. Why would we say that, man? We're just saying that for fun. Yeah, millions of people going to die. No. The scriptures say it, man. I'm not saying that for shits and giggles, man. I'm saying that because it's what the Bible says, what the scriptures say, what the Lord has proposed to happen on this earth. People think that's a joke, man. They ain't going to be laughing and joking when it's when, it, when, when death is, is, at, is at your head, man. That's when the laughing and joking is going to stop. This is Jeremiah 25 and 23. Thus said the Lord of hosts, and this is the power of heaven, man, Yahweh of hosts, behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation, and a great war wind shall be, shall be rise up from the coast of the earth, and the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. They shall not be lamented, nor gathered, neither buried, nor buried. They shall be dung upon the earth. These are the days that we're entering to, man. Man, I ain't, I ain't never seen no dead body other than that a morgue. So how bad is it really about to be? So this is just something real quick, man. Stay prayed up. Man, we go. We 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 need the Lord's help, man. Straight up, man. Ain't no way out of this through, but with Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. So with that, all praise be to Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. And shalom.